Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Fred. You're watching Cooking with Dr. Fred. So today, I have guests coming in a few minutes actually. Um, they're coming from Vermont. So I figured I'd have a few nice things here, but mostly things that are antioxidant in nature, right? So I'm gonna make an olive tapenade, which is a nice little dip for them if they would like. Um, the beauty of olive is there's olive leaf, olive fruit. You know, olive has so many medicinal uses. Um, it's filled with omega-9 fatty acids. It's just not a great oil to cook with, you know, because it does turn rancid at such a, at such a low level, at 325 degrees. So that's why cooking with macadamia nut oil is my preferred choice, which is, you know, roughly around 450, 500, as well as avocado oil. But today is gonna be a very special sort of little snack event because we're gonna do olives, and then we have pomegranates here for my tree. And you can't get a better combination for heart health than a pomegranate, because the pomegranate, you're getting the pomegranate juice. I'm doing this for pomegranate martinis for them. Um, I'll probably also throw some of the seeds into the tapenade, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I had forgot about that in just until a couple minutes ago until I was talking to you. But the beauty of pomegranates is they're also anti-inflammatory, they are from the Mediterranean, like olives. You know, we all know how important the Mediterranean diet is in health and how we all think that that is the healthiest diet because it 100% is the healthiest diet for us all to follow. So, and I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of um, coriander that I have here that I've been growing um, into this top and on. So, first things first, because that'll be the easiest thing to show you, is I have this little, um, whatever this is, um, a juicer. So I'm gonna just cut the, um, and you can't see me when I move over there like that, so we're gonna do that. How about that? That's a little bit better. So I'm just gonna cut this pomegranate in half, if it cuts, because it's a little stale. I have to pick them quickly, because if I don't get to them, what'll happen, look at those nice, the nice seeds, all right? What'll happen is that the birds will get to them or the night bats, or something. Something evil and creepy and crawly will get to them before I get to them. So all I'm doing is just juicing this. So that'll be really nice. Get the juice out, we'll get a lot more of the pits in here. And off we go with this juicing. I'm sure I probably have a juicing implement here somewhere, but. I couldn't find it right away, so you're gonna get me juicing it by hand. Not bad. Um, and then I have this strainer here. Let me get a little glass. This is the little glass I wanna use, but we'll use this. Um, so then you put the strainer, I put the strainer over the little glass like this, and then I'm just gonna pour that in there. And look how Lovely the color is. Can you see the color? That nice, beautiful pink color? It's really gonna be outrageously delicious. And I'm gonna make pomegranate martinis. I don't think you need to me to show you how to make a martini, since it's just vodka, ice, put it in a shaker, throw in the pomegranate, and shake. Simple. So I have this little leftover from the some of the seeds, which you could toast, put in salads. I've often toasted them. I've often put them in salads. Um, today I'm just gonna throw them in with the top and on because I don't have a lot of time because I'm actually gonna be late picking them up from the airport. So again, the beauty of this is that it's not only high in antioxidants, not only high in omega-9 fatty acids, but they're two perfect heart health ingredients. And they're so great that I put them together in, this, in, the, in a supplement form called Cardio Thrive. So I really hope you will test drive that product because Cardio Thrive's great for anybody interested in cardiac health, taking care of their heart, just making sure that their heart is as well protected as it can be. Um, so back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program of making a tapenade. That was my sort of, my little infomercial there, but I hope you won't, uh, you'll be fine with me doing an infomercial. So I'm gonna get rid of the juice of these olives. Um, I was very lucky to find these olives because they have anchovies in them, and anchovies is a really good, um, a really good addition to um, uh, to a top and on. So I'm just gonna throw, I'm gonna throw all the olives in here because I don't like olives, it's the only food I don't like. I will take it in a pill form, however. Um, I take Cardio Thrive every day and I hope you will too. But anyway, back to this. So I'm gonna throw in a little garlic. 
The way I like to take the skin off of garlic is to take this sort of mallet, and I just like to hit it. That makes the skin come off right away. And then I'm just gonna put that into the food processor, the mini food processor this time. Again, get rid of the skillet. I mean, we're gonna get rid of the skin. The skin is going into my compost pile. I will put the pomegranate shells in the compost pile as well. Um, maybe these leftover seeds. It's gonna go in there. And that's that. I'm gonna throw in hot sauce. Um, not traditional in a tapenade, but it's the Caribbean and we put hot sauce in everything. So a little bit of hot sauce there. And I know my guests love hot sauce, so, and what's not to love about hot sauce? Also good for your heart. The capsation helps lower your blood pressure. So it's really quite good. And put in a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar. You're really supposed to use red wine vinegar, but I could not find red wine vinegar and I happen to have that in my refrigerator. So there you go, that's what you're getting. Simple. You don't need to put salt in it because olives are salty enough. Then we're just going to do this. Close it up. Did I plug it in? I plugged it in. And we're going to hit. And remember I told you about that, uh, that great uh, in implement with the rubber edge that just pushes everything down. So I'm just gonna push it all down a little bit because I probably put too many olives in there. And then I'm gonna put the top back on it and hit line. By pulsing it, you make sure you get everything down from the beginning. And then there you go. There you have it. Let me put it in a nice serving bowl. I'll put it in this nice white ramekin. So there you have it, two great snacks. We're gonna do a pomegranate martini when they arrive, and we are going to have this olive tapenade. Um, cardiac, they're cardiac healthy. Pomegranate and olive fruit makes up my new product called Cardio Thrive, which I'm sure you're gonna love, love it as much as I do. You're gonna love the studies behind it. Omega-9 fatty acids, antioxidants. I mean, you can't get a little hot sauce for your uh, blood pressure. You know, oh, I forgot to put in the cilantro. Oh, well, next time. We'll do that next time. And um, there you go. Simple, easy snack that's heart healthy. And that's what we're looking for um, when we're trying to eat and snack. So I'm Dr. Fred. You've been watching Cooking with Dr. Fred. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.